For today's video I'm gonna use a rough watercolor paper so it's a very nice texture. I'm using a six size then my watercolor travel palette. I just made it by myself. The paint here is Wizard and Newton Gottman from the tubes so I just made my own collection. I have this small palette here to just mix my colors. Then I have three round brushes. I use Princeton, but you can use whatever brushes you like. I have zero, two, and six round brushes. The pencil and the razor. Then I have a towel here and some water. So I think we are just ready to start and for today's card I'm gonna make a nice B and I think I will sketch first so maybe I will turn it and I will make a vertical card so my B will be here in the top part of the card. I always like to start with a geometrical form where I will fit my object or in this case the B. Then we know that the body is here in the middle and maybe it's a bit too big but uh, let's see uh, we have the middle part of the body here then we have this part here and then the head of the bee with two eyes here we have the wings something like this and then we try to make it symmetrical so this is not really a straight line but somewhere here something similar or we try to make it symmetrical from the other side like this okay we also have some on the top They are not super symmetrical, but uh, that's okay. Something like this. I think it's it's fine. And then, of course, yeah, we have the black and yellow here. just a few stripes okay I will erase the lines that we're not gonna need 
and then the ones that we are gonna need I will make them very light so we're not gonna see them through the watercolor because as you know the watercolor is transparent okay If you want, you can use watercolor pencils. Then when you use the watercolor, your pencil will just lead in to the paint. Okay. I'm just paint on this line slightly more visible. Okay. I will start with the body and I will make this yellow part. I will use wet on wet technique. So you first put water and yeah, I don't know if you can see it. It's just this shiny. Art, maybe you don't, but you put water all over the body and then you go over it with some paint. I forgot to add water to activate my paint, so let's do that quickly. I will probably not uh, use all of these but I always like to activate all of them so in case I want to add some extra color I will have them ready. So we start with some yellow. I will grab some paint directly from the palette and leave it to bleed in the water so I just tap everywhere around the V so on the corners I will just move it around to leave this paint to bleed very nice into the water. So just turn your paper and then you will see how the paint just does your work then I think I will grab some of this darker and tap again a few times just to create a little bit of deepness and shadow and then this will create this will make your illustration a bit more in 3D, let's say. You can help with the brush to spread the paint as you like it. Or you can leave it to be a bit more abstract. And magical but I will just do it like this and if you want you can always add extra yellow to keep it 
and they fresh. Okay. Here I know that I will have this extra yellow, so I will do it. I'm gonna dry this and then continue to the next step. Okay, I think it's nice. Then I will grab my brush number two. And I will mix some dark gray here. But because here I don't have any gray, I will use my indigo, my dark brown. And I will create this color. Maybe I will use a little bit of red. it a bit colder or yeah, a bit cooler dark gray and if you keep adding dark colors then you will get just dark gray or black Okay. If you don't, if you are not sure that you like this color, you can test it out on the side. I think I'm totally okay. So I will make my hat. The eyes black or yeah this in the color and then I will leave this yellow in the middle I will wash my brush and with a little bit of water I will gradually move this paint then I will grab a bit more and do the same with the body but then I will leave more from this yellow part so I will tap with my brush on all the borders and try to create this 3D vision like this and then clear my brush and go over it to make it gradually going from outside to the inside like this then more clean brush yeah something like this okay we continue with the rest of the body like this 
just tap here a little bit this black and we try to keep uh, these black areas to look like they are curved straight because it's basically in the center I will add some dark here to create this round shape one more like this and then the last one in the bottom okay i'll grab a little bit of water to try to make it a bit graduated And keep cleaning your brush because when you do that, the brush just gets more from this paint that's already on the paper. Okay. Like this. Then I will make the wings actually i need very light gray for this i'm gonna grab the bigger brush and you can grab a little bit of paint and then with water you can spread it around like this then it's a very light and transparent color so the wings are really transparent -y. like this and then the last one when they dry we will make all the details and the shadows now I will just paint all the legs and these tiny details to make the first part slightly yep bigger okay and then on the other side They're not really symmetrical actually, but they are kind of okay. Nothing is the, in the nature is uh, completely symmetrical, right? Okay, and then the last one here.
Okay. I will turn my paper to make this line easier. Okay. And now I think the the wings are also dry. So for them I will grab even the thinner brush so on number zero turn your paper so it's easy for you to paint and draw so we go around the wing and just add this uh, how should I call them? Veins, let's say. We'll do the same here. Like this. And then the inner ones. If we check a photo, we will see that they just go somehow. Yeah they are more directed to the long side of the wing and they do they create these interesting shapes And yeah, something similar also here. I want to add just a little bit of shadow here so it will be visible that the big wing is on the front, like this. Okay. And then we do the same on the other side. I will turn my paper like this and try to keep the same. But even if they are not completely the same, yeah, it's also fine. Like this, I will wash a little bit my brush and just add this gray here on the bottom. Okay. We'll try to spread it around like this. Maybe here I will add again some details. Okay. And I will wait for this to dry to make a bit more. So like this. I think to add a uh, small text and our postcard is ready.
like this. 